Hello, you guys. Hello, how are you? Welcome to this week's edition of Coffee Chat with me, Catherine Oster. I am a certified facilitator with Access Consciousness, and Coffee Chat is all about how I use the tools, how I facilitate people with the tools to become more conscious and creative in your life. So this week's coffee chat is about being the source of destruction. And if you're watching this in the future, I do this on a Facebook Live platform. So sometimes I get a little bit off on a tangent saying hi to people as they join me. Hello, I've got a viewer. How are you? If you can type me a comment and maybe you already have and I just can't see it, (laughs) that happens with Facebook too. Um, I will check it later and thank you so much for joining me. And to those of you watching this in the future, cheers. I got water today. It's not coffee, it's water. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm seeing comments today. So how does it get better than that? But I'm glad I've got a viewer because that means I'm live because sometimes Facebook plays funny games with me and I'm not actually live. So, oh, hello, you naughty. Ah, from India. Okay, I can see comments. Hi, honey. Thank you so much for joining me. From India. I love it. Hey, Jessica. How are you? (laughs) Yes, I can see comments. You have no idea. Actually, you probably do now. How excited that makes me. All right. The source of destruction. So I have just started day one. No, today was day two of my latest online course called The Daily Dose, Being the Source. Now, The Daily Dose is basically a Facebook Live with me every day, a daily dose of consciousness. Every morning we do it and it's 30 days. Each kind of program is about, is 30 days. This program, we're talking about being the source, being the source of everything in your life. Now, when we started this program, you know, I'm talking about being the source of happiness for yourself, being the source of joy for yourself. And um, after day one, one participant messaged me and she's like, Catherine, when I ask, what am I the source of? I got destruction. She's like, I get that I am the source of destruction. Now, when I read that message, I could tell she had a lot of judgment around that, you know, and, um, and that she was making being destructive wrong. Now, I'm just going to talk around and about this for a few minutes and I'm going to, we're going to go down a path, but, um, and I asked her a question. I'm like, what is possible with being the source of destruction? And she didn't really have an answer for that. So what she was seeing was the destruction in her life with relationships, maybe um, with her money flows. She was destructive. She was also very destructive with herself. You know, when you are the source of destruction, you can destroy anything, including yourself through judgment You can destroy yourself by making yourself wrong, by doubting yourself, by coming to a conclusion that you are wrong. That's one of the most, that is so prevalent in a lot of people that show up in my classes is how wrong they are. And they keep destructively perpetrating that wrongness on themselves by judging themselves continuously. Now, one way that you can start to get out of that judgment and break the cycle of destruction is to get your bars ran. Access bars is this hands-on modality. There's 32 points on your head that are associated with different areas of your life. And when you, when somebody pulls energy through those points, it just allows you to release all of this energetic baggage that you are probably carrying around from a lot of lifetimes. And then all of a sudden you start to get lighter and have more space and, and things around you start to change. But anyway, back to the conversation about being a source of destruction. 
what if, now there's this other saying in classes that I've really picked up is what if your greatest wrongness is actually a strongness? So what if your ability to be a source of destruction is actually also your ability to be a source of creation? Because in order for something new to be created, to actualize, to show up, you have to destroy what is. You know, um, when, when a new building gets built, the, it might look like the site that the building is going on is destroyed. Like, for example, when, when my riding arena was getting built, we had to do a site prep. So we had to have a grader come in and level the land And it peeled back all of the grass, took up a lot of dirt, dug a lot of rocks. It really made a mess. And to an eye, you could say, oh my God, what is she doing? They're destroying this piece of land that was grass that used to be where we calved cows and, and grazed other animals. But what was really going on was the foundation of that plot was getting destroyed. It was getting destroyed, but it was also creating a foundation and a space for a new building structure where so many possibilities show up now that allows me to train horses, teach riding lessons, um, have bars classes, which is happening on Sunday, June 27th, by the way, if you're in the air and you want to join me, um, host events, regardless of the weather, not having to book an outside source that is available for me to create with, that was a huge creative source for me. And it did look like destruction in the beginning. And so another gift, that is totally the gift of being destructive, being destructive. You break apart the foundation and you allow something greater to show up. Um, And what if instead of calling it destruction, you are actually transforming? (laughs) You know, the word destructive is actually pretty heavy and it is like, oh my God, you're destroying me or this is getting destroyed. But what if it's actually getting transformed into something greater? What if you could use this creative source of destruction that you are to destroy your judgment, to destroy the perpetration of judgment in people around you just by being that destructive source. Yeah, so I'm going to use the access consciousness clearing statement now. And it's just this weird set of words. You don't have to understand it, but it just clears the energy that is up right now as we're having this conversation, as I'm asking you these questions. So everything this brings up and everything this is, will you destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. There it is. And if you want any more information about that, you can go to access consciousness. Or no, you can go to theclearingstatement.com. And there's also a link with this video after. Anyway, now, um, oh, I was going to say something. And then these thoughts just leave my mind really fast. As quick as they come sometimes. Um, Yeah, so yeah, are you a source of destruction? (laughs) And what else are you the source of? You know, um, what are you the source of? When you are also the source of your happiness. So let's say, for example, oh, wait a second. I'm going to give you another example of being a source of destruction with horse training. Um, A lot of horses that show up, that come to my place for training, they have a lot of different interactions with their humans and, um, and their humans are a certain way with them. And they come to my place and I basically am the energy of destroying everything they've known that humans are. <laughs> and then I invite the horse to another possibility of being different. That's another example of using destruction and creation. Um, If you are a person who wants to change your money flows, to increase, to become and cultivate the source of money and cash even more 
money and cash in your life, you've also got to destroy your financial foundation as it's showing up for you right now. And let me tell you, that is really uncomfortable. It puts you into a lot of unknown, but it also drives you into creation. Unless you're a person who, who, who is willing to be at the effect of everything around them. You know, if you want to use being a source of destruction as a creation, as a creative process, you also have to be willing to claim, own, and acknowledge that you have the power and that you're not a victim and that whatever shows up around you, you have the ability to destroy it, to transform it, and to change it. Now that's claiming, owning, and acknowledging a lot of power and ability in yourself. It also cultivates a lot of trust in you for yourself that you maybe haven't been willing to have yet. It took, it's taken me a lot of years to strengthen that within myself. You know, I took my very first bars and foundation class like seven years ago, but let me tell you, I wouldn't change that for the world because now I know that no matter what shows up, in my life, I am the source of everything. And therefore, I can transform everything into something different. And it's usually just by being an energy. You know, even with my husband, um, when things get weird with him, you know, if he's got a point of view about something, that I am doing all these Facebook Lives <laughs> on Facebook... He's not on Facebook, but you know what? Me talking about this weird shit and his friends, like we have friends and people see me and they're like, what the heck is she doing? And what has she got going on? And God, can't Travis control her? Uh -uh. <laughs> anyway, things get weird sometimes. And I'm like, yeah, and, but at the end of the day, um, me being willing to destroy that point of view and not let it stop me has invited so much more into our lives. <sighs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So what are you the source of? And are you willing to be the source? That was the next thing that came up in the series today is are you actually willing to have that power? And for a lot of people right now, it was a no. They weren't willing to. But that's okay because you have another choice always because just because right now you're not willing to be the source does not mean that within a week you're not going to step up and choose bigger or you can actually have another choice every 10 seconds. And so using that not judging yourself for what is your ability to acknowledge what is and to know that you have another choice and then to use that choice to change if you would like to. Nobody's forcing you to change anything. Let me tell you. No, yeah, it's always your choice. Always, always, always. Even if you think it's not, it's your choice. <laughs> and that's the uncomfortable part, totally. You know, and there was a little blurb that we spoke about on day one about be something outside of you being the source of your happiness. So let's say that puzzles make you happy. Doing puzzles relaxes you. And let's say you have made puzzles the source of your happiness, putting a puzzle together. Well, all of a sudden you want to go on a vacation and you forgot your puzzle. If you have made puzzles the source of your happiness something else outside of you the source of your happiness that means you ain't going to be happy if you don't have a puzzle <laughs> I know that's a really simple example and it just really clarifies that so yes you can be happy while you're doing puzzles and you can ask this question I wonder what else I can choose here that will also create that for me Knowing that you always have a choice that puts you as the creative source of your life, of everything around you. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much, you guys, for joining me live for this. And to those of you watching this in the future, um, if you want to join this program, I mean, you are more than welcome to join it at any time. You will get all of the Facebook lives 
uh, you'll get all the recordings. So even if we're like day 10 into it, you'll be able to catch up. That's totally cool. Um, there'll be a link with this video for that. And if you have not taken a bars class yet, or you want to, and you live close to me, I live just a few miles south of St. Walbrook, Saskatchewan. On Sunday, June 27th, I am facilitating a bars class here at my place in the riding arena with horses present for the class while we trade bars. That invites so many possibilities. The horses are magical. They just really create a space that allows you to shift, change, and transform whatever you're asking to shift, change, and transform in your life. So thank you so much. I'm grateful for you. Uh, wishing you an amazing day or a crappy day, whatever you would like to have, because there's no right or wrong choice. <laughs> Cheers. Until next week. Bye-bye for now.